Rodeos provide an example of the traditional skills needed by cowboys, known here in Florida as crackers. That's because they used to crack the whip to drive and herd the cows. Interestingly, cowboys didn't start in Texas, but were actually original to Florida. Christopher Columbus brought the first horses to North America to reintroduce them after their extinction during the Ice Age. Ranching is still Florida's third largest income generator after citrus and tourism. Rodeos normally start with a parade of the sponsors. And of course, you always have to have the patriotic bit. Is there anybody here tonight that is truly proud to be an American? The next event is bareback riding. The rider has to hold on to the horse for eight seconds while only holding a small loop with no saddle. Nobody can say these horses are tame or drugged in any way. This next horse proves too much for the rider, as you'll see he holds on with two hands. The next event is saddle bronc riding. Here the rider has a saddle, but only holds onto a six foot rope. There's a great tradition on rodeos in terms of the rodeo clown who's there to entertain the children. He's also there to distract the crowd if there's a serious injury to either the riders or the horses or the steers. The next event is steer wrestling. 
Here two riders ride out and one jumps off his horse and grabs the spear and has to get its four legs pointing in the same direction. The next traditional skill to be shown is tie down roping. Here the cowboy has to lasso the steer and then tie the legs together. At least three of the legs together that is. Don't. 
Even though these guys are really good at lassoing, they don't always get it right. Yet another one's about to escape. Not all the steers are willing to cooperate. And of course at half time the traditional t-shirt throwing event happens. For the ladies, there's barrel racing to show their skills in horsemanship.
The youngest entrant to ladies barrel racing turns out to be only aged eight. What do you think about eight years old? The next event is the team roping. Here's the two cowboys and one steer. One has to lasso the head and the other the rear legs. <laughs> The big event of the evening is the bull riding. The only rule is that the cowboy has to hold on with just one hand for as long as he can. I'll be right back.
They got a place to rip. You may notice some of the riders wear body armor in case they're gored by the ball. He's awesome. It's interesting that the Bulls always seem to know how to get out of the arena, as if they've been practicing this all day. This cowboy is injured when the bull actually steps on his foot. They're going to give him a rewrite. Whoops. Got it left. Hey, 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 None of the animals seem to be injured by what went on, and they all seem to have done it before, many of them returning to the uh, exit gate completely under their own steam without being herded at all, which I found rather surprising. But uh, that's show business for you.